Hey, so this is Karen, the language czar, and I'm just on my way back out to the airport in Sofia in Bulgaria. Was here for just one day basically, and it was interesting. The reason I came to Sofia was because I was here just once before, and that was in 2009. Uh, so that's like eight years ago, and I wanted to see. Uh, how much uh, the change there's been, especially because Bulgaria has in the meantime become a uh, member of the European Union and of course it's had a lot of uh, funds from the EU to invest in its infrastructure as well as good governance, improving things. Yanni, tell us um, what is the soul of Sofia as a city? The soul? I think the people, the culture, the food, all the food is amazing. Mm. The spirit in this garden especially, for example, these street musicians, they're here every day. Right now they're not playing, but <laughs> <laughs> they're here. <laughs> and it's like a small oasis in the middle of the middle of center of Sofia, so in the weather. I think you're enjoying it, right? And I'm seeing it in phenomenal weather, so and let's the hope people are so cool, also. Some of the people are so cool. Yanni is uh, an exception, but so don't judge <laughs> it on the, the whole country on her. Things are definitely better. In 2009, it was a little bit uh, drop and dreary here. Now it's really improved. You can see in the center there are a lot of uh, restaurants, cafes. The infrastructure improved a lot. There's now a train uh, in from the airport on the metro. That's really improved things. This city has interesting architecture. You see lots of baths, a lot of Ottoman uh, relics, like big mosque in the center, for example. Uh, Bulgaria was once part of the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, so it's definitely a, a vastly improved city. Unfortunately, I don't speak Bulgarian. I think that's a bit of a barrier here. Uh, not too many people speak English. Uh, it was a little bit of a struggle for me. I did speak also in Russian. Older people tend to understand Russian. They have to learn it uh, when uh, Bulgaria is part of the Warsaw Pact. Uh, so that's like before the fall of the Berlin Wall. So we're talking about pre-1991. Speaking Bulgarian is definitely a handicap in terms of meeting people and really getting to know uh, more of the local culture here in Bulgaria. So I encourage you if you have the chance uh, to learn a little bit of Bulgarian before you come. I have another uh, a friend who's a YouTuber, Felix O. Wang, and uh, he speaks Bulgarian and he loves it here. He really rants and raves to me about all the time how amazing Bulgaria is. Uh, but he does speak Bulgarian. I think that makes a huge difference. In restaurants, even it was a bit of a struggle. Um, maybe about 50% of the waiters can send in English. 25% in Russia. Definitely positive um, response to my, my 24 hours or 36 hours that I had here in Sofia. The climate here is uh, very warm so you have uh, lots of good food and veg that's definitely for sure. So I'm on my way out to the airport going to be going to Dubai. Got a flight to Dubai today from Sofia and I'm going to be visiting all seven Emirates while I'm there. That's the trip. Uh, seven Emirates, uh, not in seven days. I think I'm going to be doing about three. So that will be another video coming up for you guys. And uh, looking forward to getting back to the United Arab Emirates. Uh, I was there last time, I think about two years ago. So it's well overdue that I go back to the Emirates.